Hello, hello, hello everyone. How y'all doing? We're going to paint this gorgeous paisley peacock pattern on an empty wine bottle. Now, you don't have to use a wine bottle. You can paint on any glass bottle, or you can even use an empty glass jar. Here's my recipe. You can pause here to gather what you need, or just refer to the list in the description area below this video. So get all your goodies together, and let's go make the magic happen as we paint with a passion. I'm going to reference my dotting tools by number. The small ball tools are S1 to S5, with one being the smallest. And my big tools are L1 to L8, and again, one is the smallest. I recommend making a dotting tool size guide it makes it easy to determine the tool size that you're gonna to wanna to use when you're first starting out. And I've included a link in the description area if you're interested in making your own. Whatever you decide to use, before you begin, you're going to want to remove the labels. And you can remove the labels using some Goo Gone in a green scratchy pad and then just wash it with warm water and dish soap and dry it off. Let's use some rubbing alcohol and a lint-free cotton pad to remove all of the oils and the dust from the surface. I'm using a sponge brush to apply the base coat of black paint. And just try not to touch the outside of the bottle um, until you've covered it in paint because the paint doesn't like to stick um, where the oil is left from our hands. Let's repeat this for the deck of the bottle. Now, a personal preference of mine is to varnish before I begin to dot paint because it makes the surface better for smooth dots. And also it makes it easier to erase paint if I need to. So this step is completely optional. Now, normally I would have spray varnished this bottle, but the weather is not cooperating. It's way too windy. So I am so ever carefully brushing on my varnish so that it won't accidentally pull off any of the black paint. All right, let's add our paisley petals. I'm using my L7 and my S3 tools for this. And I'm using metallic copper. Start with a large dot, and then using the S3 smaller tool, pull the paint to shape the petal outline. Now, using the same tool, just push and pull and basically swirl the paint into place to fill in the tail. As I was swirling the metallic paint to kind of flatten out the dot, I uh, 
found that it created a hammered copper appearance and actually, I really like it, so I'm kind of exaggerating it. Make sure to leave some space between the petals so that there is room to add some large dots and some smaller filler dots. You can form all of your petals to go in one direction or you can mix it up like I'm doing here. If you need to erase paint, just grab a cotton swab, get it wet, and wipe up the paint. And if this should happen, you will be so glad that you varnished or used a glossy paint before you started dotting. I recommend pouring small amounts of paint and then load up fresh paint as needed. So basically, if your paint has a skin on it, it's time to pour some new paint. When you're dotting with metallic, the paint tends to be uh, a little elasticy. It snaps back. Sometimes it leaves a trail of paint um, that can land across your painting, which is not a great thing. So make sure to be careful when you're dotting with metallic paint, especially when you're using the larger dotting tools. You don't have to use metallic paint. You know, a matte or a glossy paint will look just as beautiful. I made a cradle to hold the bottle by rolling up each side of a paint rag. Now the neck gets a little tricky, so just try to place your large dot the best you can and then just shape the petal using your small tool. Make sure that you take your time. I don't really paint this fast. Make sure you wipe off the tips of your tools often because the paint builds up and it will affect the quality of your dots and your drags.
It's amazing how the colors change on the peacock feathers with the lighting. Every time you move it, it looks a little different. So I based my filler colors on this photo. And um, these are also the colors I happen to just have on hand. So I'm using metallic paint and the colors are blue sapphire, aquamarine, glorious gold, and festive green. Let's add some large dots between our petals. Make sure that your paint is completely dry if you're gonna lay the bottle down. I'm using my L4 for the aquamarine and my L3 for the sapphire blue. Now you may not want to wait for everything to completely dry before you move on. So if you're going to keep going, um, try holding the bottle at an angle with your finger in the neck so that uh, the dots you've already painted are not touching anything. And then just continue adding your large dots all the way around the bottle. And then maybe every quarter of the way around, Take a break and set a fan to dry the dots and set them. And you can rest your arm and clean your tools off and maybe pour some fresh paint. Just remember that even though the dots are dry to the touch, they can still be smashed if they're not completely dry. Now let's fill in the remaining empty space with small dots. I'm using my S3 with the festive green and my S2 with the glorious gold. Doing this small dotting filling is a great opportunity to practice walking your dots. I find it helpful to steady my hand by placing my pinky finger on top of one of the dry petals. Okay, 
Uh, the green is finished and now let's add some gold highlight dots. And let's paint the lip of the bottle. I chose the sapphire and um, the brush application doesn't cover so well. So I'm adding a second coat using a sponge. Much better. Normally I record the varnishing of my pieces. And unfortunately, I didn't get it this time. So please check out my bottle art gnome video if you would like to see how I apply spray varnish to my bottle art. All right, it's a wrap. Look at our gorgeous Paisley Peacock bottle art. This is absolutely stunning. Thank you all for joining me today and a warm welcome to all of my newest subscribers. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next time to paint with a passion. Please remember to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. I wish you peace, love and happiness now and always. Bye.